guys, it's Trina, and today I'm doing a fairy loot unboxing. This is my first time ever getting the fairy loot box. It is yet another YA book subscription service, and they approached me and asked if I would be interested in receiving a box from them or being a rep with them for the next three months. And I thought that sounded really cool, so I am going to have an unboxing of fairy loot for the next three months on my channel. And by the way, being a rep with them does not mean that this video is sponsored. I'm not being paid to do this. They are sending me the boxes at no charge for me to show them off on my channel. I'm really excited about this box because Fairy Loot does exclusively YA fantasy books in all of their boxes. And each Fairy Loot box will run about 33 or so US dollars. And they do have a one month plan or a three month subscription plan or a six month plan. And since I am a rep with them, I actually have a code to share with you guys. So if you want to get a subscription plan with them that's either three months or six months, you can get 5% off your order if you use my code. I've never had a code before, so this is pretty cool, but my code is just my name, Trina, T-R-I-N-A, it's on the screen here, so if you use that for a three or six month plan, you will get 5% off your order. So the theme for May's box is Warriors and Legends, and they say that it's going to be good for fans of Mulan, so I am really highly suspecting that the book included in this box is going to be Flame in the Mist by Renee Antier, because a lot of people have said that fans of Mulan are going to like that book. For this unboxing, I'm actually going to shoot this video in a different style than I have done before, because I like to show you guys the close-ups of the individual items, but I feel like in my past unboxings, like, these unboxings move so quickly that I'm just kind of like cutting in those close-ups and it just kind of ends up looking choppy. So instead, I'm going to shoot this unboxing in a like totally point of view style, which means you're not going to see my face and my reaction, but we all know I don't react very well to stuff, so you won't be missing much, but we're going to open this box together right now. So this is what the box itself looks like, and I'm just going to open it up, and we will see what is in here. So let's see what's inside. So right on top was this print, which is an illustration that goes along with the theme of Warriors and Legends. And the back of this card has all of the information for each item that is included in this month's box. The first item I pulled out was this tea, which is loose leaf tea, and it is by the Tea Leaf Company. This flavor is called Warriors and Legends, going along with this theme. And this is a green tea with hints of lychee and jasmine that is sure to calm you down after a long day. Day. Next is this small tin candle. It is from In the Wick of Time, and this is an exclusive scent called Flame. The author of the book that is included in this month's box got to name this candle, and this scent is Orange Blossom and Mint. There were two different candles sent out in this month's box, so you might have gotten a different scent, but I can tell you that this smells very, very strongly. Like, it's a very powerful scent. The next item I pulled out is a pair of Celtic socks. These are also exclusive to Fairy Loot, and this is a Celtic knot design pattern, so this is supposed to be a warrior pattern. The next item I have is this metallic feather pin. This one is from Flora's Wonder Emporium. Okay, this item is most definitely my favorite thing so far. This is a wooden bookmark, and it is from Ink and Wonder. It's a Lord of the Rings quote, which says, One ring to rule them all. The Lord of the Rings is one of my favorite series because it's one of the first series that really got me into reading. I absolutely love this. Next in the box is a chapter sampler of Neundel, and apparently it is out now. Next is another book called World Mythology in Bite-Sized Chunks by Mark Daniels, and this is just kind of an overview of a bunch of different worldwide mythologies, and it just kind of gives you a brief overview of like where they're from and kind of what they're about. And the last item in this box is the book itself, and I have seen this before, how Fairy Loot puts their book of the month in a black bag so that if you're just kind of like reaching through the box to pick up the other items, you won't accidentally see the cover and kind of spoil yourself for this month's book before you're ready to know what it is. And I really, really love that. So there are some papers in here. I'm just going to try to pull out the book so we can see what this is together. Yep. Yeah, it is the book I thought it would be. It is Flame in the Mist by Renee Atier. 
Also in that bag are a couple of bookmarks. So there's one that has that same art from that spoiler card. There's one for Flame in the Mist. There's also a signed book plate. And here is a print of the cover image with a letter from the author on the back. And the final thing is this booklet called Fairy Scoop. And inside it's going to have an interview with the author and just some information about the book, some other book suggestions. And then the back of it has the announcement for next month's theme. So June's theme is Elementalists. It says it will be good for fans of Avatar The Last Airbender. And there's going to be six items, and one of them is going to be a throw pillow cover, which I'm excited about that because I am getting June's box too, and I've never had a cute little bookish pillow cover, so I'm really excited to see what is in next month's box. So I am back now, and I guess I should tell you a little bit about what this book is actually about. So I have heard this one being called like a Mulan-inspired story, but it is set in Japan, whereas Mulan was traditionally a Chinese tale. Our main character is a girl, and she ends up dressing up like a guy in order to infiltrate this clan that has attacked her, and she wants to get revenge, so she dresses up like a guy to join their ranks and get inside information. So it does seem like there is a revenge story. She's She's also in an arranged marriage that she really doesn't want to be in, but it means great power for her family. And since I opened the box, I actually went ahead and decided I'm going to read the first chapter of this book. But the first chapter was really short, and I didn't really get a good feel for it because it's actually not following our main character. So then I read the second chapter. The only thing that's happened in that first chapter with our main character is she's riding in a carriage on her way to meet the man that she is supposed to marry, and then they get attacked. I'm guessing probably by this clan that the rest of the story is going to be following. So it was a very interesting opening scene, so I do want to read more of this book. I really enjoyed this month's Fairy Loot box, and I hope you guys liked that new style of opening the box. If you hated it, feel free to let me know because I know that you kind of miss out on the reactions even though I don't have very many reactions. If you liked it, if you hated it, please let me know. I don't have to do it again that way next month, but I will see you guys next month with June's Fairy Loot unboxing, which that theme is Elementalists. And I don't know any books coming out in June that have an elemental feeling to them, so I have no idea, no guess for that one. But I'll see you next month with another Fairy Loot unboxing, or I'll see you sooner in the comments. Bye!